Good morning. Today I want to talk about a question that a lot of, of people have been calling with, and that is, how much is my silver worth? The average person doesn't have access to a troy scale. There's a difference between an ounce and a troy ounce. So a troy ounce is 0.9111 of a regular ounce. So if you weigh things on a bathroom scale or a regular scale, you'll think you actually have more silver than you actually have. Another thing is we're getting offered a lot of silver these days. With the rise in the value of silver, people are you know, very much in the dark of what their things are worth. And they, they would take like their entire set and they throw it on their bathroom scale. And it's the, the, uh, the value is wrong for two reasons. One, they're measuring in regular ounces and not troy ounces. And second of all, not all pieces in a flatware set are sterling. Uh, the biggest example is the knife. And um, this little piece, uh, you know, is it's quite complicated as far as, you know, what the value of a knife is. Because you have uh, three parts. You have the stainless blade, you have the sterling handle, and then you have the, um, the putty or filler that's in this handle. And so while this little piece may weigh two, even three ounces, you know, how much real silver is here? How much real value is here? And um, there's, a, you know, a long and a short answer to that. The, um, what, the, um, what the people at the refinery will do is they will cut this handle in, in half and then they will remove the filler, they'll remove the blade, and they will smelt the metal from the handle. Now, um, if you take a thousand of these handles um, and split them all, you'll come up with the answer that uh, the average group is 0.62 sterling. So a little more than one half ounce of sterling per handle. That does vary. So if you have dinner, that'll be heavier. Uh, certain patterns are heavier, but the correct answer is 0.62 on average. Okay, another one that people are wondering about as far as the value of uh, the piece are things with weighted center areas. So the most common is a candlestick. Again, what does this have in, as far as silver? There's quite a, quite a wide range. There's one that has a hand on the bottom uh, by the silver mark. And they, they were artists. They, they used the, the least silver of anyone I've ever seen on average, they, it was like tin foil on the outside, and um, it's 0.22 for one of these. So one fourth, barely over one fifth of one ounce of silver in one of theirs. But the the better makers like Gorham and Wallace and Toll, they put about. 0.85 in each of these. So they look exactly the same as the ones with the 0.22 and they're actually 400% heavier. So I guess on this I would have to say you know better makers a little less than an ounce for lesser makers usually um, you know, about one-fourth of one ounce. People have become very interested in how much silver are in these various pieces. 
like here's a brush and um, there's these dresser sets and in general I would say you know four to ten ounces uh, per per set and the final one would be like a raised compote a raised compote again has a filler in the bottom and um, if you figure the piece at about an ounce you won't be all wrong could be somewhat heavier but if you just put this on the scale you know it'll say like five ounces and you're you're way off so anyway uh, you know I really like to be in the the silver matching business not the the melting business but I've had so many questions over the last month uh, what my silver is worth um, to melt it that I thought this was a talk I definitely had to give. Thank you.